Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman and today I'm going to be doing a celebrity psychic greeting on the one and the only Adele. Uh, this, this has been requested by a lot of my viewers out there so thank you so much for requesting uh, this reading. I am so excited to do it. Um, for those of you that may not know who Adele is, she is a famous singer and songwriter from the UK um, and she is a, a global superstar. Um, and she rose to, you know, to fame with her first album, uh, 19, and then she had um, 21, and then 20, uh, 25, I believe, was the album. So she's had, you know, a lot of success with hits like, you know, Chasing Pavements and Hello and, you know, just a lot of different, you know, hits that she's had and um, she's risen to stardom you know really quickly but the one thing with Adele is I feel like she has stayed very much you know to her integrity and to her authenticity you know the only thing that I feel like you know when I tune into her is that she doesn't really like the spotlight she loves her fans and she loves you know everyone that supports her but I really feel like she doesn't really like the spotlight a lot and that is what you know a lot of people can connect to her she I don't feel like she's let this you know her star quality power uh, get to her head she is very humble some people you know in the media would like to tear her down and call her a diva or call her you know that she is she thinks she's a diva or, or she thinks she's too good but I really feel like genuinely you know Adele is the good as good as you're gonna get for this generation's music uh, as, as far as vocal uh, abilities and her vocal you know range she is the you know one of the uh, the icons for this new generation of, of people um, and for older generations they like her music and her modesty and she's one of those artists that hasn't you know had to over sexualize her image to sell records you know or to um, demean her you know herself uh, so she's very powerful and she stands, you know, for that. Um, and I feel like, you know, she is in, in a very strong career uh, path right now with her career and where it's concerned. So this reading is going to be focusing on uh, things that I've picked up over the years, you know, watching Adele, listening to her music and um, what I see for 2018 and 2019 going forward. So the one thing that I want to start off with is um, talking about Adele's weight. You know, this is a very, uh, a very, you know, difficult thing, but a lot of people can can kind of, you know, relate to it. Um, as we all know, Adele used to be a little bit more um, well endowed, you know, as far as her weight is concerned. Um, and she's, she's always been a beautiful soul on the outside and the inside. But I feel like, you know, what I'm picking up is that from Spirit is that, you know, pressure from the record company, pressure from her publicist, from the image control people, you know, um, you know, had led her to losing the weight. So she lost a lot of weight by the time that she came back onto the scene with her album 25. Um, and this is something that a lot of people noticed, you know, that she had lost the weight. Um, and so a lot of people questioned whether she had gastric surgery um, or she'd lost it naturally. I, I do feel like, you know, she just did it naturally. And I'm getting, you know, there was a lot of pressure about it, but ultimately Adele is never going to conform to the standards that they uh, want her to, to be, be in, you know. Um, she has put up a fight and yet has maintained her integrity and also maintained her, her star quality power. Um, so she is looked up to, but I think a lot of, you know, of women that are out there that were fans and liked her weight before, you know, uh, with her first two albums and then saw that sudden change almost felt like she, she sold them out. You know, she sold out that particular crowd and it's not that I don't feel like she did that, uh, you know, intentionally, but she had a lot of pressure and stress and things like that, that happened. And also I feel like it, to a certain point, she did have some health conditions that um, she was trying to regulate because the more weight, you know, sometimes can lead to some health problems, but I'm not, I'm not saying that's going to be the case with every, everyone, because I myself am overweight. So, you know, I have no room to talk, but generally speaking, you know, this is something that is, is typically seen, you know, with celebrities. And I feel like she was no, um, you know, she wasn't a stranger to this. She was, she was one of these celebrities that, you know, they, they approached her and they talked to her about her image and how she, you know, they, she needed to reinvent herself a little bit. Hence, you know, now she has shorter hair. So they chopped off some of her hair 
got rid of a lot of the extensions and just, you know, left her with, you know, short hair, uh, kind of more of a, of a different image. But she's evolving and she's growing into an artist. Um, and what I see for Adele right now is that, um, you know, with her vocal vocal uh, abilities, she did have vocal surgery. She had nodules on her on her uh, on her voice, you know, vo vocals. Uh, vocal cords so a lot of people kept speculating you know whether whether or not her voice was damaged to the point would she be able to come back and she came back with the album 25 and she did exceptionally well but there is some subtle changes that you know for the um the person that has a good vocal you know ear has a good ear and you can hear a lot of you know the vocals and that have listened to her music you can tell that even though she still has that power there there is some subtle changes to keys and notes and stuff like that so your voice is never going to stay the same i feel like you know her voice does get strained from touring and, and just from singing because she likes to sing live not over a backing record or track record you know and all that so i really feel like you know right now her vocals are not at the exact level and i feel like she has sustained some damage again um whether or not she would have had surgery to correct this again for the second time uh you know spirit doesn't really say i don't feel like she it, it was so damaged that she required surgery but the doctors did tell her that she needed to slow down and maybe change for her third you know for her next album her next album um to change the way that she is going to sing it you know when she does get to that I also feel there was a lot of stress uh, between her and her partner, Simon. I feel like, you know, even though they have a child together and she loves him, I f I'm seeing strain. I'm seeing strain in that relationship. Spirit is telling me that, you know, even though they may be more like twin flames, I don't see that relationship working out forever. Um, so eventually Adele is going to break away from that and I actually see another man stepping in. There's a new talk of a new relationship over the next two to three years, which is something she may decide to keep more private, you know, on a private level because she is just that person, you know, she, she loves her, her privacy and she loves, um, having that, but I don't see that her and Simon would be together. I feel like there's a lot of differences that they've had over the years and even though they do have a child and he'll always be a part of her life i feel like there is eventually going to be a separation there um between these two um and it's going to have to it's going to be around you know adele and basically you know her love is never going to change but she's never going to also compromise you know or you know sit back if her partner is cheating on her now i'm not saying that that's going to be what happens but that is something that is very possible his energy comes in very erratic and i feel like you know there there is conflict in the home life right now so again she has focused a lot on her career and she has thought about having a second child i had made a prediction a long ago where i did see her having a second child so the timelines are there i feel like you know she's also going through some feminine issues uh, as well, which would hinder the ability to have a child. And this is more on the hormonal level. So um, I feel like, you know, what I'm receiving from spirit is that there is some problems with conceiving. Not that, you know, that she can't have another child, but there are problems there. So this is something that she's going to have to, you know, really focus on and, and really, you know, be in a stress-free environment. I think this is why at the end of her her tour you know she had to cancel some of the shows and the dates um and she had claimed that it was due to the vocal abilities but i feel like it was more um other health issues that she would be having as i mentioned but i see her very focused on a lot of different projects i feel like she's going to be doing her own uh perfume eventually you know and going into that kind of area she may not be able to see that you know see herself doing that um but i feel like you know th she is going to be evolving and it's not like she would have to you know do these things because she has a lot of money and and power you know as far as her career is concerned but i do feel like she is going to um, come out with a new sound with her next album uh and i'm very excited i feel like it's not going to be so melancholy or so you know um on the romance like ballads it's going to be a little bit more up tempo i feel like she's going to be experimenting with more of a pop sound so um you know it's going to be i feel like she's reinventing herself uh and the adele that we knew before we may be shocked you know that she is stepping into some new um territory here but i feel like she is teaming up with some a lot of good people and there's pressure from the record company for her to you know produce another album i feel like she's giving them you know uh pushback and not wanting to actually 
put another album out, um, you know, ideally for another three, two to three years. But I feel like, you know, the company has a different thing in mind. And so they're putting this pressure on her to, um, that's what I'm seeing, you know, from Spirit, that they're putting this pressure and they want another album. Fans are not going to wait another four years, you know, like she did. She took about four years off uh, between her 21 and 25 albums. So I feel like, you know, she she really doesn't want to wait. I mean, she really wants to wait that long, you know, and take another break. But again, the record company doesn't feel so secure that, you know, now because um, the album 25 had success globally, but it didn't have a lot of the long term success, you know, with the, a lot of the songs here in the U.S. especially. Um, and, you know, I, I feel like it didn't have the exact su success as her other albums had. So when it comes to the record company, what I get and see from them is that they have some fears and concerns that if she stays away, you know, with a lot of the new talent and stuff that's going on um, for so long, you know, that she may become irre irrelevant or that, you know, she wouldn't have the exact exact bang that she had with um you know with hello and and her other singles that that came out afterwards the hello had to be the biggest accomplishment single uh for her you know uh of all her music but a lot of her other singles that came out didn't have the exact success you know that a lot of people would have expected you know um, like I said, she's changing her image, just like Lady Gaga changed a lot of her music and her, her image, and so so is Adele. But I feel like Adele is going more for a pop route with and experimenting with different types of music. And she's clearly proven that she's well versed in like rapping and and you know experimenting with different genres. So um, it it's, comes to no surprise if she she goes ahead and does that. Um, but like I said, as far as her relationship concerned um, and the family life, there's a lot of turmoil, a lot of different things that are going on there. I just get like her energy is being drawn and drained. She's very drained from her home life and her home situation. Her son is everything to her, so I feel like you know that's okay. But like I said, eventually there is a new relationship that is forming here, uh, and I see that, and I don't feel like it's with Simon. So they may actually part ways uh, very soon. And I feel like, you know, she may actually, uh, decide to postpone on the pregnancy, but, you know, everybody feels like she's going to have a second child. Um, and I feel like she is, you know, I see it, um, whether it's with Simon, that's up to, to see. I know she does love him a lot. And like I said, you know, but um, we will have to see. Right now, things are very up in the air. So I'm not saying that she's not going to have a child from Simon. But I feel like, you know, with them, those two, you know, things are just not the same like they used to be. So um, where her money is concerned, like I said, career wise, she is, you know, going to be doing OK, uh, you know, more than OK. I feel like she has that, you know, that that star power, you know, where she will always have, have something to go into i do feel like she's been pitched to go into acting as well as weird as that sounds um but she doesn't see herself doing that yet you know i feel like she her you know her thing is family is very important to her her music and apart from that she wants privacy so um we will you know have to see a lot of that you know what's going to come um but she has been approached you know by different shows to even be like a mentor or to be like a judge so there really are you know looking after adele to to you know branch out and really show us what she she has you know with uh with her career and her different um decisions that she will be making uh over the next couple of years i do get that you know um, there is going to be a move for her. Um, I don't feel like she necessarily would love to live, uh, leave the UK, but for a time being, she may spend a year or two uh, here in the USA um, residence and, you know, traveling back and forth over there. But I feel like there is going to be a residency, you know, temporary residency here in the USA, um, you know, where she would be settling down for a couple of, you know, like a year or two this is more down the road but it's coming i feel like you know this is going to be something bigger for her career um and it kind of excites her a little bit but you know um life here in the u.s and the uk is a lot different and what i mean by that is the you know the customs the shops the foods everything is is different so um you know she ultimately feels homesick when she is here in the usa but um, I feel like, you know, that is where she's being led by the universe. So 
I want to thank you so much for tuning in. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And if you would like to set up a private reading with me, you can go to my website. That's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. And again, for those of you that are tuning in, my third book is called Starseed Footsteps. It is available now on Amazon and Barnes and Noble and other major book retailers. You can go and just type in Starseed Footsteps or type in Raymond Guzman and you will find my books and you can pre-order it. It's available on September 18th worldwide uh, as a hardcover copy. So I want to thank you again. Blessings and love and light.